Some people are born with certain innate abilities that drop our jaws in amazement. A perfect example of this is listening to a truly incredible singer performing at the top of their game. However, is the ability to sing beautifully a toss of the genetic dice, or can anyone learn to sing well? As it turns out, singing well results from a combination of innate talent and relentless effort. Unfortunately, not everyone's voice is particularly pleasant to the ear. So why do some people always seem to sing poorly? Although it's hard to define the boundaries of good singing, bad singing basically means you are lacking in one or more of the following areas, timing, note memory, and pitch accuracy. Timing and note memory aren't common areas where aspiring singers struggle, meaning that people can often recognize what song is being played by the notes, and most can time their notes and changes while singing. Pitch accuracy, however, is another story entirely. There are numerous factors that contribute to a person's ability to sing. Good singers are born with a superior instrument, including great lung capacity, exceptional breath control, and a larynx that allows for the fluid and flexible use of their vocal cords. Even the shape of a person's pharynx and nasal cavity can affect their natural singing ability. Apart from the physical characteristics, a confident person who is more likely to perform well than someone who doubts their abilities. Additionally, those who have been raised around music and performance will also have a higher chance of being a good musician. However, as mentioned, pitch accuracy is the main factor that separates good and bad singers. Pitch accuracy is also known as intonation. Pitch is measured in cents. There are 100 cents in a semitone, which is equivalent to one twelfth of an octave. A pitch error is the difference in the number of cents of the tone you are singing versus the tone you were intending to sing. If you're off by more than 50 cents, you would be out of tune and you may be considered a bad singer. Though research has shown that our brains can recognize pitches and match them, when we try to recreate them with our voices, some people are unable to do so correctly. When the brain receives a tone, it typically interprets the input correctly, but the problem comes with the output, when the brain is attempting to match an output tone to the original input, resulting in timbral translational errors. Even if you're aware of your poor pitch accuracy, it's difficult to make corrections, as the brain will continue to generate the same errors every time in its output. Fortunately, these potentially weak connections in the brain can be changed with extensive practice. Practicing and training your voice over a long period of time can effectively readjust and redefine these neural connections, thus improving your performance as a singer. Just remember that great singers are not only born, but they're also made. You've probably noticed changes in the quality of your favorite singer's voices over time. That is a combination of maturity, consistent practice, and experience. In other words, don't let anyone tell you that you have a bad voice. An important part of improving as a singer is learning to be comfortable with the instrument you have, along with buckling down in a practice room and finding that perfect pitch.